Today we're hiking Chautauqua. It's a little misleading because this is like a choose your own adventure trail. We start at a Chautauqua trail and then from there you can branch out into some other trails. If you come between Memorial Day and Labor Day, it's $2.50 an hour to park and you can use the Park Mobile app to uh, pay for it. Very important, which I was very concerned this morning, there are porta potties at the trailhead, which I didn't know, but I see them, so I'm super happy about that. Let's go adventuring. All right, bye. What do you think the ratio will be today between pictures and video with your new camera? I think it's gonna be mostly video. We were here about four years ago. It was in the early springtime and it was just covered with snow and people were just walking straight up the hill, not even following the trail because you can't even see the trail. We got maybe like halfway up the hill. We we're like, you know what? We're done. This is a little bit like a redemption to come back here and actually hike this thing. I just told Adam that I think I need to have a snack because I'm feeling pretty grouchy. And he says that I've been grouchy at him all morning. Pretty much, very short responses. I think it's time for coffee round too. What do you think? If that would make you feel better, yes. <laughs> less evil, <laughs> less mean. Basically, yes. We need more coffee for her. Please send Anna coffee. She would love you. <laughs> we are going to the left. Check out all these amazing little rock sculptures we just ran into. That is quite a rock slide over there. How do you feel? Struggling. All right. So intense. Denver's natural stairmaster. <sighs> Who needs to go to the gym? when you can come to Boulder. We're going all the way up in those trees to the top. I don't know if you can see people moving. We are here, we're there, and that's where we're going. So that's where we just came down. There it is, the arch. This was probably one of the hardest hikes I think we've done just because of like how rocky it was to get up here. The first half, right up till Sentinel Pass, I think that's where it was. I didn't think it was too bad. It, was, it looked like a bunch of stairs going up and I was like, oh, this is not bad. And then it started getting to the point where the climbs were getting a lot higher and the rocks were getting a lot steeper. So and then steep. that's where it got really, really, really tough. It's, it's really deceptive because we've only gone about two and a half miles. At least that's what my Fitbit says. And that was an insane two and a half miles. The last part was, yeah. Yeah. But we're now going to join some lunch. Um, I'm probably going to put the camera away just so we can get down safely and we'll hopefully see you back in the car. I would say that was expert more than difficult. So now that we are at a much more reasonable part of the path, I wanted to give you some facts about the Royal Arch Trail. So elevation is 6,920 feet and elevation gain is 1,370 feet. So I just wanted to give you those facts in case you decide to come out and try this hike out. I think it was good, it was fun, it wasn't too long, but it definitely was one of the more challenging hikes uh, that we've done. I think. You know, having hiking poles would have made it maybe a little bit less challenging, but I mean, it was really rocky. Yeah, I feel like I twitched my knee a couple times on it. Now we're gonna go home and get some food. So thanks for tagging along. Yeah. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. I forgot. Make sure that you like this video and subscribe.
Thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye.